are today. This this is just a great day. Especially when the fish are biting. It's a nice Cameron, one you got there, Cameron. Holy smoke. Cameron, you keep this pace up, you might get old Mo. I have a feeling we're going to catch old Mo today. Cam, that's another nice sized fish. You can go ahead and toss him back. You know, the weather today compared to 15 years ago when you guys were were young young children here then, the a uh, little bit hotter, but fishing off a full moon last night, got a little bit of rain. The conditions here are perfect for what we're here to do and the fish are biting. And I got to tell you something, the excitement level you guys had back then, <laughs> Hunter, if I remember correctly, you said we caught a bluegill that weighed a thousand pounds. Grady White Boat's reputation for designing ruggedly elegant fishing boats is legendary. Our attention to quality, detail, and customer service is unmatched. From our Fisherman 180 and Coastal Explorer series to the unrivaled Canyon 456, you'll find no boat that rides better and offers more fishing amenities. Go ahead, experience fishing at its best. Get the Grady. Hello and welcome to the Carolina Outdoor Journal. Well, today's program is about fishing with worms and crickets, but Joe, it's a trip down memory lane. It sure is. We're going to take you back in time with our sons when they were youngsters and uh, fishing a pond for bluegill, trophy-sized bluegill, uh, using fiberglass fishing poles. And uh, we're going to bring you up to present day, this past spring, when we took them back to the same same pond using uh, a little different fishing gear. We went to graduated up to spinning tackle this year, but still caught a lot of fish. We'll talk about that in gear time. And Donna's got a recipe today fish tostados that's right it's a mexican res recipe from her today um, again a little something different but she always comes to this uh to our show with with different recipes so tune in well it was an easy day of fishing for me so let's catch up with our young men and a walk down memory lane here on the carolina outdoor journal well 15 years ago i'd be all excited now but now <laughs> i can just sit back watch you grown men fish still in search for old mo after all these years and cam just like before Looks like you caught the first one. You fish with crickets and, and Hunter, you're going to try the worm today and see how we do it. Try them out. I don't think that's old Mo, but that's a nice size fish. That is a very nice brim. How about that? Yes. 15 years ago, you would have said that fish weighed about 50 or 100 pounds. What do you think that fish weighs now? Pound, pound, and a half maybe? Maybe. <laughs> maybe a pound. See, the older you get, the, the more they shrink. Hunter, you got a fish on just I like do. before you threw it right in his mouth there. I believe that's going to be about the same size as Cameron. That's yeah. a nice size fish too. Sure is. Very nice. There we go. Of course, 15 years ago, you would say, you want to kiss a fish? I don't think so. We'll just catch them and, and continue to throw them back. And, of course, today, you guys think we'll catch old Mo today because when you were younger, that's what you wanted to do all day was just catch old Mo. I think so. You sure you don't want to kiss him? No, I don't want to kiss him. <laughs> okay. I did not today. There he goes. Easy. Stay with him. This one's on Mo. You got him. Oh, man, you got him. You got him. Bring that's him. Mo. Woo! Look at here. That's old Mo, Daddy. You think that's old Mo? Yep, it's old Mo. I can tell. How can you tell? Oh, big. He is a nice one. I need to get over here too. Yeah, uh, we got another fish on. Sure it's does. a little bit out there though. Is it? But it's that's in that same honey spot that you've been fishing and hitting today. Yeah. It's my little pot of gold out there. <laughs> I think these fish are really liking those crickets. I believe so. Hunter, I think we have to move you a little bit to the left there. Get you to move over just a little bit. They're hitting the crickets. We're going to get you off the worms and get you on crickets. How about that? That so sounds good. Hit pretty soon. We're going we're gonna to change you yeah, up this, a little bit. This is just a great day. Especially when the fish are biting. It's a nice Cameron, one you got there, Cameron. Holy smoke. Cameron, you keep this pace up, you might get old Mo. I have a feeling we're going to catch old Mo today. Cam, that's another nice sized fish. You can go ahead and toss him back. You know, the weather today compared to 15 years ago when you guys were, were young young children here then, the a uh, little bit hotter, but fishing off a full moon last night, got a little bit of rain. The conditions here are perfect for what we're here to do and the fish are biting. And I got to tell you something, the excitement level you guys had back then, <laughs> Hunter, if I remember correctly, you said we caught a bluegill that weighed a thousand pounds now. <laughs> he was. <laughs> that brought on a lot of conversation with a lot of folks back then. And as I said then and I said today, if you catch fish that big, you'll have no trouble having folks want to call and take you fishing, especially when they grow a little bit like that. <laughs> He's a big one. Yep, it's a boy, it's a boy. How much you anyway? I think a thousand. Uh, you think, I, what do you think, Cam? 
just a few pounds. A few pounds? I think it's a thousand. Think so? Or a hundred. Yeah, a hundred. 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 Let's go with a hundred. I like a hundred. Because I don't think I can hold a thousand pounds. What you think? <laughs> Hunter, I tell you what, man, I thought you were going to start sweating getting that one in here. Get Try some of that again. worm. <laughs> And he is throwing my cork off set too. Look at that. This might even be old mo. You think? <laughs> you think? It's it's nice like one. We've had a couple of hit today and hit and run that we've missed, but we got that one. Yeah. Didn't qualify as old mo this time. No. It's got some nice striping on it. You know, we've never seen what old, old mo looks like, but I think once we catch him, we'll know. Probably so. <laughs> there we go. Got a pretty big turtle out there. Nice fish, Hunter. Thanks, man. Yeah, not a problem. Put some more worm on the hook. Let's get it back out there. He's fighting a little bit harder than the rest of these other guys. Could it be old Mo? It could be. I don't think old Mo would pull like a little little fish like this guy's pulling, but. I have There's that feeling. Fight. There's a little fight in this one. That's the beauty of fishing with light tackle. They all feel like old Mo. <laughs> That's the beauty of it. I have a feeling we're going to see old Mo today. Woke up this morning and there he is. Nice fish. Very nice, Cam. Yes. Not old Mo, but it's a nice one. You know, you guys forgot to make a bet. Yeah, who catches the first fish has to buy the Pepsis during the day. You guys just missed that you, whole thing. You're bit just saying that because I and caught I, the first one. No, the deal is both of you got to buy me a Pepsi now. That's just the way it is. <laughs> you always got to have a first fish. <laughs> Man, a second ago, he just wanted to give up. Which is more fun, today or years ago? About hmm. the same. Probably about, about the same. same. I tell you what, though, me and Cameron were disappointed to hear that we weren't going to be fishing with the uh, those cane, cane poles. poles today. <laughs> I can see that. You know, those poles, they would bend almost double, and the smallest fish would feel like, oh, man, like it was going to be so big. Uh-oh. I got a big one. I got a big one. I got one. I got one. All right. Hold on a minute. Can, can you hold him a minute, Hunter? Yeah. Stay with him. Hunter, bring it over you here. You sit down. <sighs> Somebody get me a drink. Come on. Bring me a cold drink, some ice water, or something. Woo! Look at him, look at him. Sit down in the boat. Sit down. My gracious. Look at that, Hunter. Sit down. I think that's a thousand. Hunter, sit down. Cameron, sit down. Time out. Uh, 50. Look, them folks on the release on the Outer Banks don't even work this long. But you know what? That's the way to take a kid fishing because it's not high tech. You get out there, you can have fun. And the smallest fish feels like, oh, this is, you know, it's just a great event. It's low that, maintenance. Low maintenance, exactly, exactly right. Low maintenance. You know, high speed, but low drag. There you go. <laughs> that is right. There he is. Blue, but he's having a time down there. There he is. Good size one. Good fish, Cam. Nice. Look at that. Nice one. Hunter, I think the competition's on. That's the biggest one we've had today. That is. That's a good size exactly. fish. I wouldn't take that if I was you. Well, I'm, I'm about to go out there and catch him. <laughs> He's nice about, fish, Cameron. Very about nice. a pound, maybe. Good size fish. Real good size. Real big fish. Good fish. Catch a few more like that. Oh, we'll, be, yeah. we'll be set. We might have to cook one. <laughs> All right. You about ready to cast one out there? Won't be long. I'm going to show you how the old timers do it here. I'm going to wait for everything to get just right and I'm going to show you how to do it. And you know, we don't have an award for the smallest fish. Yeah, somebody going to buy me a Pepsi. If I buy one, you can believe that. Like a good size fish here. What you got there? Let me see. Let's see. Let's see if we can get him off. I'm working a whole lot less. Oh, that's a nice a one. Nice size fish. He's a jumper. Uh oh. There we go. Get around our marker here. There he is. Pretty fish. Get him in the boat. He's a good size fish there. 
Now, when you guys were younger, you would have known exactly how many fish you caught at this point. I guarantee you, you would have been counting just as hard as you could go because y'all both were so competitive back in the day. <laughs> you were exactly right. <laughs> Stay in your seat. Okay. Stay with him, play him, give him some line. Stay with him. Woo! Look at him. Stay with him. Bring him this way. Stay in your seat. Bring him around. Pull, pull this way. Pull your pole this way. Pull your line this way. Yeah, stay with him. Stay with him. Yeah, Let me see. Let me see. Bring him on up here. I gotta see this. Ooh, woo! Woo! Girl, definitely a girl. Ninety-nine. Okay. There he is. But you know what he didn't do? What's that? He did not get your worm. You're the luckiest man I've ever seen. <laughs> Next All right. time you go to the bait shop, you'll say, I have two worms and go on fishing. They'll believe you. <laughs> All right, let's catch another one. Let's catch a few okay. more. Take the bait. There he is. Oh. There he is, Cameron. Looks like you got a good a fish here. This looks a little bit different. I tell you, looking back, I Oh, we got us a different bass. Yeah, look at here. This little bass here. Good pound and a half, two pound bass. How about that? See that? You guys should have been on the first bass of the day. You're right. Cam, you might have got a, maybe a pound, pound and a half there. What do you think? I think it's about a pound and a half, maybe. It's good size. Those are the fun catching fish, Mr. John. That was. That's always fun. But what are we going to do? Send him back and let him grow. Yes, sir. Good job, Cam. That's first bass of the day. It is. Good job, Cameron. It's a little bit more fun than catching that little brim. He fought a little bit more. Fish is a fish when you're out here like That's this. That's true. Fish is a fish. Get back out there and see if I can catch one. Yep. Cameron's got another fish on. Hunter, you know uh, a lot of things we talk about on Carolina Outdoor Journal is catch and release. But if you want to keep a fish like Cameron's got online here, I think it's going to have some good size. These fish are good on the table. And I tell you, I'm partial to fried fish. And there's nothing better than fresh fish like this cooked. It's great on the table. Now, so that brings me to my next question. You can catch them. Can you cook them? Yes, sir. I, I know Cameron them. can. Can you cook them, Cameron? Oh, I can cook them. I know we Cameron can cook them. Let's see what we got online here. There he is. Nice little fish there. I believe this guy's been caught before. That fish got some good coloration to him too. Yeah. It does. It's a nice size fish. There you go. Send him back. I think I'm going to have to put my, my worm over the, the honey hole over there. You, you change worms. You, you catch three fish on one worm. You change worms and you just sit there. What's up with that? Do you lost your touch? I must have. <laughs> i tell you what it is. We got to talk about fried. I mean, the whole atmosphere <laughs> has changed here. Catch releases. release is one thing. When you start talking about keeping them in fried, the attitude changes. They have scattered out. Fishing got a little slow here. Y'all have bored me because you didn't catch them fast. I wanted to. I'm gonna show you how to do it. We're trying now. We're show trying. You how the old folks do it. I'm gonna try this. Okay. You're gonna show us the old fashioned. I'm gonna way. go with it. No, I don't know if it's an old fashioned way. Not everything I do is old fashioned because I'm old. But I'm gonna see. I like the way these worms have been working for Hunter today. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that. And that way I won't have to spend as much time baiting up if they start hitting again. How about that? That'll work. I bet you the only thing you catch is that turtle that keeps yeah, well, baiting. Yeah, out there. I'm gonna show you boys how to get her done. Here. We'll see about that one now. Think about that for a second, okay? Let's see what I can do. Let me see where the spot is. Where's the spot, Hunter? Right to the left of me. Let's see what we got right there. Got us another one on the line. He's, He's fighting drag pretty hard. There. Tough little guy. <laughs> Let's see what comes up out of the water here. Mr. John, I think we're sitting in a honey hole. I hope we are, because I'm about ready to show you boys something here now. That time I start talking about y'all not catching anything, here you go again. <laughs> you guys have done Oh, oh man. Did you lose him? Hey, he got off right when How he got to I that was old mo. No, it wasn't old mo. talking about the one that got away. That's the one that got away. Oh. Uh, he was here. But the good thing about it, we can catch him again another day. We can. There he is. I bet you catch your mo before I do. I don't know now. Tell you one thing, that's a nice size he, fish. He you sure got. is. Good size fish. Bring him on up here. 
Mr. John, he's got some good coloration. We'll put him in the sun there. That's my fish. Let's see here. And he still didn't get you worm. He still didn't. Is. Lucky worm. <laughs> good job. Look at that. Good job. Thought you had old move for a moment. I thought I did. He was fighting good. Take a little drag out. I don't even think I've had a bite. What was that I used to teach you guys? Patience? Patience. Yes. Ah! <laughs> Gotta oh, have I patience. I need to refresh your course today. <laughs> Uh, You're sitting in the honey hole. This is the one. There he is. We might need a net for this one. Uh oh. What do you think? You don't Hold think it'd be a you, old Mo D? Bring him up there towards you and let you get him in the boat for me there. Oh yeah. Uh oh. Oh yeah, nice fish. There nice he is. Fish. Nice fish. Nice Fellas, fish that is a nice fish, but you know, you can't catch old Mo. That's right. It's an elusive fish. The legend is just incredible, but I think we all need to agree on one thing, that that is the biggest fish of the day. Do y'all agree or not? Mm. Let, me, let me rephrase that. You guys want to ride home with me today? Yes, sir. It's a big fish. Is that the biggest fish of the day? Yes, sir, it is. I thought it was. Can, I, can I let him go? My arm's getting tired. Get in the truck. Joe, that particular day, we rigged one with a cricket, one with a worm, and turns out either or. They were hitting everything. That's right. The bluegills were on the beds. Uh, this is in May, uh, full moon, and, and they were on. And, of course, uh, the guys threw, uh, like I said, the mixed, the mixed bag out to them, and it really didn't make any difference. It was a good day of fishing. I want to talk about the equipment we used. I'm going to catch up with Cliff now in gear time. Cliff, I think the hard part of fishing today was the realization that our boys had grown up to be men. And we were here in this same area about 15 years ago when they were young men fishing. And now they've grown up. And we started out fishing back then with using a pole like you got in your hand. Now this is 100% graphite. They make it in fiberglass too. But tell me about it. This is just so simple. It makes fishing fun. Okay. It's the up version of a cane pole. Right. It's very light. And it's basically inexpensive. It's easy. Anybody can use it. Uh, you can use crickets, fish worms, even minnows on these poles. You can break it down into uh, just a, like a three-piece, where it go into about three foot long. And when you put it behind your seat or in the trunk, and you have it right there available, all you do is add the bait and the pond. And you talk about bait. Let's talk about the bait we used, Dave. Real simple again. Okay. Yep. Crickets, obviously, right here, and fish and worms, and uh, they're inexpensive also and very easily get it most places. Though. And when you got a child fishing and you get a fish on with this, it is like, holy smoke, it's got to be the biggest fish in the world at that particular time. It's good play. Absolutely. It's like a fly rod in, in a sense, and it gives you really good play on a hard fight of any kind of fish. Well, today I had it easy. I didn't have to bait hooks, and I didn't have to do all that because they had upgraded a little, little bit to the rod and reel. Absolutely. They worked you hard last time. <laughs> But it was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. You know, another thing too, Cliff, is we would never leave without our flotation devices. That is so important. But another thing too is it's knowing that you're going to a pond that's got some fish. Because what we did today in the boat, we could have very easily uh, accomplished by being on the bank of the, of the pond. Yeah, absolutely. You can walk around most ponds. Most ponds are clean enough. And if people just take care of them and do any management at all, they can have really good fishing. And manage your ponds like managing the garden. you got to do it. Absolutely. You sure do. Well, we had a good time today, and I hope that we can come back one day and say, well, I got the grand boys out here or the granddaughters out here, and we're here to fish again. Can you get out those graphite poles for us? And I hope you'll be around to do that and still put us on some great fish. <laughs> you all come back. Enjoy Thank it. you. It has been our pleasure. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I hope you can use that information for you adults that may be taking a young person fishing. Now, let's catch up with Donna. She's got a recipe today. We call it Fish Tostados.
right, today in the kitchen we're making fish tostadas. They are so great. You're going to have this nice crunchy fish and this fabulous salad underneath a meal in one. So let's go ahead and get started. What I've done is I've, um, I've chosen some flounder today. And so I have just cut that into bite-sized pieces or two to three inch pieces. You can use any type of fish that you have that your family likes that you might have in your freezer or something that maybe you've caught that day. Um, you can also use shrimp or you can use scallops or a combination would be great as well. We're going to take our southern bake and the great thing about this is it comes with your bag and your breader all together. So I'm going to fold down my bag. I like to just kind of fold down the top a little bit and then I'm going to take my breader and you're going to get two pouches in your um, box so you can have two meals out of this. We're going to place that into our bag and then I'm going to take my fish and I'm just going to pop it into my bag and give it a quick toss and make sure that it's well coated. Just And when, you want to make sure there's air in the bag so it moves around. So I just kind of twist my top a little bit and give it a little toss so that it's well coated. And then I, let me just use these. Then I'm going to pull it out and place it on my, uh, my um, foil. I like to line my baking sheet with foil. You're gonna preheat your oven to 400 degrees and you're gonna bake this for about five to 10 minutes just until they're nice and golden brown. You want it, it depends on the thickness of your fillets, how long you cook it. So you just might wanna test it after about five minutes. So while this is baking, for our 10 minutes, we're gonna throw together our salad. So we're gonna take, our salad is gonna consist of some romaine lettuce. I just bought some in a bag that was already torn up. You can buy it and chop it yourself if you want, but you know me, I'm all about some convenience and some quick. Um, then I have some purple cabbage that I've shredded. You can, um, on a mandolin, or you can um, use your knife and shred it up real quick, or you can buy it, if you can find it on a salad bar or already shredded, even better. Then we're gonna use these great um, radishes. They're beautiful. They add some nice color, some texture, some crunch, and a little different look to it. Instead of shredded, we're gonna have some round, and then some sc scallions. And um, I'm just gonna toss it all together. There's no dressing on this. You can if you want, but we're gonna try to make these a little bit healthier. So while that's cooking, then we're gonna, it comes out and it looks like this. Your fish is nice and golden brown and crunchy on the outside, but tender and juicy on the inside. Great flavor. Then we're gonna take our tortillas, and these are corn tortillas that you just buy in a bag at your grocery. And then we're gonna build our, our tostadas. So we're gonna have some purple cabbage on here. We're gonna have some great lettuce, some radishes, and then we're gonna put a few cherry tomatoes on here. Then we're gonna top it with our fish. And then we're gonna top it with this great um, sauce that is um, some low-fat Greek yogurt, which is pl a plain Greek yogurt, some um, chilies, and a little bit of lime juice. You just put it in your blender and mix it up and you're ready to go. So I hope you enjoyed these fish tostadas and I look forward to seeing you next time here on Simple Cooking. Thank you, Donna, for that recipe. Joe, we're going to go back to the pond. A few things. First of all, they learned how to really judge the size of a fish. Right. They stay seated in the boat, and they were really good with the equipment. Uh, really. They, they both are accomplished fishermen now. And, and uh, yeah, they really didn't, uh, you know, back then they, they were calling a bluegill of a, maybe a pound, 50 pounds. Yeah. I even heard 1,000 pounds. <laughs> but, yeah, this time I think they finally saw the true weight of these fish and, and anybody that bluegill fishes knows that these are these are nice fish and and uh, uh, Cliff does a great job he manages a series of ponds in, outside of Lewisburg and does a great job with pond management he's got a pond management company so if you want to um, if you have a pond and you want to make make it uh, trophy bluegill or bass give him a call because he can he can put you in some good fish Joe I think the story here it goes to show if you take care of the pond they'll be fishing for generations to come absolutely for Joe Albee I'm John Moore thanks for joining us on this special day on the Carolina Outdoor Journal make sure to visit our website for more information Grady White boats are known for uncompromising quality through exceptional attention to detail. On every model, from 18 to 45 feet, we incorporate exclusive features and quality components that you won't find on any other boat brands. Our exclusive CV2 hull design is ranked highest in every third-party survey done in the marine industry, so every day on the water will be a great day, no matter the conditions. Ask any Grady White owner and they'll tell you, 
Get the Grady.